So Nintendo is celebrating Mario, right? They're seemingly doing this every year or every other year or so where they celebrate this thing called March 10th, aka Mario Day, right? Because you add Mar and 10 together, hey, it's March 10th, Mario Day. And they do this celebration where they are just talking about Nintendo and talking about Mario and, and, and celebrating everything that Mario is and what it's meant and his iconic status for Nintendo and yeah, it's actually a pretty neat little celebration. And the thing about Nintendo and celebrating Mario is they do a lot of really strange things because, again, this is primarily a marketing event for them. They're using this to sell you more Mario stuff. And they announced a bunch of things, right? We have sweepstakes for different Lego sets, and you can win a Peach outfit, and you can do, a, I don't know, some sales. There's sales out there right now on certain Mario games that are $20 off at, on the eShop or at select retailers, and there's going to be special demos for games that have already released at retailers later this month. So, yeah, it's just a giant marketing event for Nintendo for Mario. And, look, one of the coolest things we got out of it was a Princess Peach Showtime demo. Now, look, Mar 10 is not here yet. That's this Sunday, so there's probably more announcements coming. Pioro threw out into the ether that we should be expecting news and trailers and stuff on Luigi's Mansion 2 HD and Thousand Year Door, which, again, are older games, but still they're coming out in new forms later this year on Switch. So, yeah, we should obviously expect some news about that. That was probably a, a given for Mario Day. But the Princess Peach Showtime demo obviously wasn't a guarantee. Nintendo doesn't do demos for everything. And, yes, personally, I actually really enjoy the Princess Peach Showtime demo. And I don't – I'm not really that hard on it. Some people talk about how easy it is and the audience it's for. I wonder if they even played – the second portion of the demo. The first portion is clearly just an introduction. Then you get into the cake baking stuff. And I'm telling you right now, I still have it 100%ed it. And I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. I got that one star with the, you know, trying to bake the damn cakes that I just can't quite do. And I don't really feel like they give me enough time to do it, but it must clearly be possible because I have seen people pull it off. So yeah, I actually really enjoy the Princess Peach thing. It's made by Good Feel. Seemingly is using Unreal Engine 4, just like their prior game with the Yoshi stuff. And yeah, it has a few frame rate hiccups and stuff like that. Doesn't seem to impact me in the general gameplay, but you do notice it here and there. That being said, I'm just really glad we got the demo because actually I'm more convinced now than I was before the demo to actually pick up the game. Whether or not it's going to be worth the full price, that is obviously yet to be determined. You're not going to be able to determine that off a tiny demo like this. It just gives you a couple playable things. That's about 30 minutes in length. Look, if the whole game's beatable in a couple of hours, then yeah, probably really not worth the 60 bucks just because, yeah, if it's just a quick little collection of minigames. Like, this is all we really do as a ninja. Now, we've seen other footage uh, showing that there's clearly more things we do with these costumes, but... For right now, what we got to play was just a very, very tiny taste of the game. And for me, it did a good enough job playing the entire thing to sell me on the fact that, you know what, there's a lot of interesting ideas here. I actually might pick this up and, hey, we'll probably live stream it and all of that. But that's not really what the why I'm making this video. Because, look, we could do a whole impression video on Princess Peach Showtime. It is, to me, one of the more fascinating things they announced. But I actually want to dive into this other thing that really just, it bothers me even though it probably shouldn't because I know that this is just a marketing event from the sell more Mario stuff, but they dropped a video celebrating the Mario series, going over the history of the mainline Mario games. Because obviously if you do more than that, the video could be like two hours long because there's so many spinoffs. And it starts off all fine and well with the original, you got the Game Boy, you got all this kind of stuff. And then you get to the Nintendo 64, and the next game they show after that is New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And it's very strange. Now, if you're actually paying attention, it makes sense what they're doing. They're only showing games that are available in some form on Nintendo Switch. So whether it's through Nintendo Switch Online or games you can go purchase right now on the eShop, whatever the case might be, they're only showing off games in this celebration of Mario that you can actually buy or play in some form by giving Nintendo money, like an online subscription service. I am really bothered by this because they're skipping over games that you used to be able to buy on Switch. 
Remember Super Mario 3D All-Stars when they came out with that? Remember how they gave us Sunshine? Remember how they gave us Galaxy? And now they're pretending they didn't even do that just because you can't buy it on Switch anymore. For starters, can we just talk about the whole 3D All-Stars thing and how really crappy that was in the first place? And I understand the original Super Mario All-Stars was also a limited release, although now it's back on NSO. I find this to be fascinating to me that they're not even recognizing that they even made them available to purchase at some point on Switch. And on top of that, when making a generalized video about the history of the mainline Mario games, how do you not mention Sunshine? How do you not mention Galaxy and Galaxy 2, even though they're not available right now? How do you not get into Super Mario 3D Land? And you know what? Uh, when you're talking about new Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe, what about all the other Super Mario Brothers U games or the new Super Mario Brothers games? What about all of those? It didn't start with U Deluxe. That was just the final one. It's it, it's just it, it's kind of frustrating as a big fan of Mario to watch them drop this celebration of Mario thing for Mario Day, and all they're showing is what they can peddle and sell to you. And it, it, it at least it's not quite as frustrating as I mean, look. They just re-released Mother 3 again in Japan for NSO. And, of course, we just can't get that in the West. Although, yeah, you can play it through the NSO app. It, it It's, well, get the Japanese one. I just, it's frustrating to me how Nintendo just kind of overlooks their own snafus. There's no reason, in my humble opinion, that Super Mario 3D All-Stars should not have maintained availability on the damn eShop. I understand taking away physical copies, you want to make that a limited run thing. There's no reason that you can't buy it on the eShop other than Nintendo just doing this whole FOMO thing to temporarily increase sales, even though sales over time could even be higher. Nintendo's not going to lower the price anyways. It's not like we expect them to lower the price over time. It's just, it's dumb. And it's dumb because they'll probably bring it back again in 4K on Switch 2 and use FOMO again to make us buy it all over the time. And maybe they throw in... Maybe that's when we get Galaxy 2. Maybe that's like, hey, next time we re-release Super Mario 3D All-Stars on Switch 2, we'll throw Galaxy 2 in to give you another reason to spend even more money and spend $70 for something you previously had, but we took it away but because it's only temporarily available. This is such a good deal, and we're such good people. It, look, I love Mario, and I'm all for celebrating Mario even once a year. Like, like next year, I believe, is the 40th anniversary of Mario, the new Super or, not the new Super, Super Mario Brothers, right? I believe next year is the 40th anniversary. And that is awesome because this year is the 40th anniversary of Donkey Kong. So I get it. Like, this is a really cool thing. We're going to get more Mario movies. I wouldn't be surprised if they announce one by the end of this year, a second one, or maybe a Donkey Kong movie or something that gets announced by the end of the year. I wouldn't be surprised if we get, you know, a 3D Mario game, the next big one announced before the end of the year, if they reveal Switch 2, maybe a new Mario Kart or something else. Look, I expect lots of Mario in my future, in all of our futures. Just personally, I'm just really bothered that they did this history of Mario thing, then they skipped over all the games that aren't don't happen to be available on Switch, including ones that at one point were available on Switch, and they just ripped it away. I, I just, I don't know, man. Like, it, it leaves a sour taste in my mouth for Mario Day. As awesome as I think getting the Princess Peach demo was and getting to try out Princess Peach Showtime, and as awesome as the likely trailers coming for Thousand Year Door and Luigi's Mansion 2 HD will be, I just can't be... Uh, let's just put it this way. March 10th is going to come and go, Mario Day, and I'm just... I have a sour taste in my mouth already. Just because of games we did have, we no longer are going to get, and Nintendo just ignoring the fact that there's a grander history of Mario beyond Switch, and it kind of just highlights Nintendo's shortcomings in making their older games available, and it, it, it's just, it's very ill-timed at that after, hey, they just did this whole settlement with Yuzu, and, you know, Nintendo going all in with these massive headlines on how anti-piracy they are, and anti-emulation, and one of the largest arguments from the piracy and emulation community is, well, you just don't make your games available, Nintendo. And we're talking about Mario. The only way you could play like the original New Super Mario Brothers or New Super Mario Brothers Wii 
is if you still have a functioning Wii, still have a functioning DS or 3DS since it's backwards compatible, or I guess a Wii U since it's backwards compatible, if you still have these systems that are no longer being sold brand new and happen to have a game that you're going to have to buy second hand to even enjoy, it's just, it's frustrating. Like Nintendo, you're not making these things available in any convenient way today. And this is just highlighting that in the middle of you obviously going after emulation. And again, I'm not someone who emulates games, but it's just really bad optics around what should really be a true celebration. And look, even if you're afraid of highlighting those games because it would bring up this conversation, not acknowledging part of Mario's history just because it's not available to spend money on right now it's just short-sighted in my opinion. It, it really is. Even if we were reminded and we couldn't buy it, some people might go in the opposite way. Why didn't Nintendo remind us? Because now we can't really buy these games. Because it's a video about celebrating all that Mario is. And we should be able to do that in a non-restrictive way. It shouldn't always just be about what you can buy. Believe it or not, Mario fans are well aware of what's available to buy on Switch. Mario's not hurting for sales. It would just would be nice if you're truly celebrating Mario that while we understand it's a massive marketing opportunity to sell a bunch of stuff, that you don't forget there's a history of Mario as well that you're trying to make us forget about. And I don't like it. I, I just don't like it. Mario is who Mario is. His entire history matters. Heck, where's the where's where's Mario is typing? I know it's not a mainline one, but I'd like to see that. Or Hotel Mario? I know, I know. Too much to ask. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel RoboJets. Let me know if you just think this is really strange and it bothers you at all. And I will catch you guys in the next video.